What is up? I'm Moana Turtle, and today we actually have a Yu-Gi-Oh! opening. It's been a while since we've done Yu-Gi-Oh! But they just came out with their reprint tins. This is like the 2020 Mega Tin, the ta Tin of Lost Memories. I think it was Tablet of Lost Memories, and a lot of cool stuff in here. I feel like um, a lot of modern sets and a bunch of stuff from um, Savage Strike, which is probably the set we opened the most of. So we got Spider Extravagant, Spoiler Savage Dragon, and Phantasme. Used to be a hundred dollar card. We'll see if we can't pull some of those. We have three of these. Should be, I think, um, two or nine packs all together. Let's do this. All right, we got the packs out, and uh, this is what the, the size of tin. I wish it was a little bit bigger. It looks like it's uh, won't be able to use this to even like store Yu-Gi-Oh cards, which are smaller than Pokemon cards. So kind of disappointed um, if nothing really fits in these. We can't really use it for any kind of storage. But we got all of our nine packs, and here we go. And uh, yeah, if uh, primarily we do Pokemon on this channel, but you know I really like how Yu-Gi-Oh does their reprints. For like a lot of cards that basically could be pretty expensive and for competitive players to make it a little bit cheaper they're very aggressive about just having so many different reprint products I would say they kind of take a different approach compared to Pokemon where Pokemon is getting better about basically having promo products all right let's get in the first pack though test panther sign at mining I think it used to be a really useful card Time Thief Redoer. This is also from Savage Strike. I think it was just a common. And then Fusion Destiny. Uh, Marincess Coral. Amone. And then Valkyrie's Embrace. So it looks like you get uh, five hollows and then a rare. Wait a minute. I feel like, did we get uh, two ultras? Okay, you get two ultras, two, or wait, three ultras. Uh, we'll figure it out. And I don't really know if there's too many uh, good commons. Because they do so many reprints, I feel like a lot of times people could just go for like max rarity. Uh, so it's unlikely to be the commons. But yeah, so Pokemon is getting better. Like the uh, Battle Arena decks for a huge home run. Unfortunately, some of the things are about to rotate. But then you got like the toolkit, best product. And uh, you, Yu-Gi-Oh has it like set. So you kind of have to pull the cards. Solomon, Great Sunlight Wolf, another card from Savage Strike. Aaron says stuff. All right, Unchained Soul of Anguish. Idly, Idly. Neos Fusion. I believe that's also from Savage Strike. Storm Dragon's Return. Seshti. <laughs> I think there's a secret rare in uh, uh, Savage Strike. Justica also from there. Yeah. So this is feels like it's the past. I don't know. Handful of sets. I feel like I've recognized some of the stuff from like uh, Neo Storm. And some other sets that we opened. Opened a good amount of. Alright, let's see. Anella Valkyrie card. And this will be our first tin. I feel like we didn't hit any of those cards we're really looking for. Evil Eye Retribution. Evil Eye. I think there's some Evil Eye in like Infinity Chase or something. Ooh, Marinta Seahorse. We definitely saw her before. I believe she had a like Prismatic Rare. Mystic Mine. I've seen this card a bunch of times. This is, pris this is the Prismatic Rarity. I believe this is a really annoying card. Infinitrack Earth Slicer, Strength of Unity, and then Emperor Maju Garzette. Uh, so they also have the um, Appaloosa card, which also had like, that was like the most expensive Prismatic. We actually do have one of those, but going to send off the PSA to get it graded. But yeah, I would say that's kind of been my main approach to opening Yu-Gi-Oh! Card, Yu cards has just been these reprints because a lot of times for the new set, there's like a $100 card, but then everything else is pretty low price. Firewall Dragon, Dark Fluid, Bye Bye Damage, Striker Dragon, and then Witchcrafter Schmetta, Omni Dragon, and then Spirit Sculptor. Versus here, like the, I feel like they, they put them in the set just to kind of like make it more readily available for players. So even though we don't play competitively, obviously, you know, we would like to have the better cards. Uh, as far as collectors, I feel like there's no, not too many like old school cards. Like a lot of reprints will just have like Blue Eyes or Dark Magician again, again, and again. I don't, not sure if this has that. Firewall Exceed Dragon. Unchained Soul of Disaster. Draco Masters of Tenyi. That looks like a, um, 
something from an anime, straight out of anime. Evil Eye of Selene. Ooh, there we go. Appaloosa, Bow of the Goddess. Very nice. All right, then that's basically it. Ah, oh, see so many cards from Savage Strike. Reminds me of opening that set. Uh, we pulled, I don't know, three or four Phantasmes. So fun. And I think, but only one pot of Extravagance and like, I think only one, no, I think we pulled two Boral Loads. And that was only Ultra Rare. Let's see. Talk your cheers. I'm not sure what this is. Right. Do you know Wrestler and Infinite Trek? The Construction Machines. Idly again. Gallant Granite. Granite. Then Peaceful Burial. Witchcrafter Pottery. And Danger. Another Danger card. All right. Let's see. We only have three packs remaining. We did, in that second tin's worth. We did get the Appaloosa though. Pretty happy about that. And as always, guys, if you do enjoy the content, do me a favor, hit that like button, give this video a like, subscribe for more videos if you're not already subbed. And here we go. Another Solomon Great. I think like, this was like a $5 rare, which is pretty unheard of. All right, Shinobi Necro. This definitely was a common somewhere. Astra Ghouls. Shaman of the Tenyi. Destined Rivals. Ooh, that's a cool art. Blue Eyes and Dark Magician. That's an appropriate really named card. Speed Burst and Fusion of Fire. Two packs remaining for a pretty quick Yu-Gi-Oh opening. It's good to be occasionally to crack open some Yu-Gi-Oh cards. I think we do have some more of these and depending on how this video does maybe we'll crack open some more. So yeah if you want to see more just hit that like button. Jelly Cannon. Okay. All right, let's see. F.A. Shining Star GT. Number XX. Witchcrafter Hain. Then Gladiator Beast. Infinite Track. Eh. Don't think there's anything too good in that pack. Garamedes. Okay, final pack. Let's pull. Let's get the pot for the, the, the Savage Dragon. All right, here we go. Final pack. Trickstar Fusion and Drake. All right, here we go. Evil Eye Retribution. Whitefish Salvage. Card Dragon LP. This was just a con. No, I think this was a super rare. So it got upgraded to Prismatic Rare. Um, yeah. It's like you wielded it. This was also a secret rare. And an Unchained Soul of Rage Crusadia Testament. Um, so we did hit one of the cards that we're looking for. Mystic Mine's pretty cool. And uh, downgrade to Ultra Rare, but that's fine. Mystic Mine and some other cool stuff as well. So that's going to be it for today. As always, guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support on YouTube, Twitch, Patreon. Uh, shout out to everyone in the Discord. And uh, yeah, hope to see you guys next time. I'm Juan Turtle, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace. And one quick thing, I do stand corrected. So... We can use these tins for storing. I'll probably just put like all the commons from this set into a tin like this just for storage purposes. So that's good to see. All right, later guys.